Hi, I'm Stephanie with Board Game Geek here at Origins 2017. Jeff Sidek has joined me and put this uh, Battle Stations second edition in my hands by Guerrilla Games. Um, so this is your second edition. Yes. Well, when did the first come out and what's different? First edition in 2004. And the big thing that we did was sped up the starships. It was so much fun to fly around in space that we didn't know what was missing until we'd been playing for a number of years. And then we said, oh, well, let's speed it up and, and make it groovy. And the, <laughs> make it groovy, yeah. yeah I like the, it. The, uh, the other thing we did was went to one inch squares instead of, we used to have seven tenths of an inch squares so we could fit it on the table. And people said, oh, go to one inch squares because it'll be awesome. You can use Star Wars minis and whatever. And I said, well, but then I'd have to make the game more efficient and the chips faster and everything work better. Oh, that's a good thing. That's so, a, yeah, good so idea, we did that. Jeff. Yes. Yeah. So we did that and now it, it really, really hums. Awesome. So um, is this available now? Or? It is. It is at pre-release here at the show. We have a couple of copies just to show off and one to give into the uh, uh, Board Game Geek Library. Mm -hmm. uh, and we're going to have it in full release by Gen Con. Okay. Full release by Gen Con 2017. So. Let's see what we got. Yes. Okay. All right. So. Oh, you mean there's some... Oh, there's things. So there's things. There's cards. There's miniatures. Yeah, let's move that aside. Okay. So yeah. some, you get let's some minis. Let's them out here. So that's, of course, is the big guy. That's the powered armor. And then we got some other minis. And you see the plastic things you have in that tray, they actually snap on as bases. Yeah, I so see you can that. determine what the different professions are. So it comes with just a ton of minis uh, because I wanted to be able to play them all. And see, this guy's an engineer, so he's got a blue base. Yeah. But why, why do we have these bases, you wonder? Well, it's so we can, so we can put them on the modules. Put a couple of these out here. And you see, they walk around on the modules. So in the game, you build your starship out of these modules, and probably more than three or four. But the idea is that uh, your ships all have functions. Rather than rolling dice and saying, I rolled high, I guess I made it away from the space monster. It's, all right, I go to the helm, and I spend helm power to uh, speed up the ship. And that's going to be a, a piloting skill check. Everything in the game is, is a 2d6 skill base. And then you have some blast beads Whoa, for what's tracking. This? What's this giant one in here? That's the phase die to track what phase it is, because there's six phases oh, in a round. Okay. And that's actually a secret, even for my Kickstarter backers. I originally said you, you weren't going to, I didn't say anything about getting this die, but then I realized I need one, so I added it in, so it's extra added value. There you go. Awesome. Oh, that's very cool. I actually, like everybody gets that, but the Kickstarter backers would be shocked. Yes. And then we track over here. There's, you can't quite see it all, but there's. There's, there's a lot of a lot of counterage, uh, including the, the ship control card, ship control card, and ship control card, a cheat sheet. So you've got some asteroid maps, and they're all double sided, so you can use the stuff on the other side. So you can build. There's 48 okay. modules, so you can really build a lot. Uh, and so the uh, book will tell you how to put these modules together. Yes, yes. We got the 32 page rule book, yeah. which is separate from the 300 page advanced rule book. Our, our original book had 112 pages. Let's look at this rule book real yes. quick before we look at the advanced ones. So this book Beautiful tells pictures. by about page 11 you're already playing the game, awesome. and then you're into the missions, and the missions teach you as you as you go along. So a lot of the advanced, uh, one of the hurdles we had was people said it was too complicated to get into. So this really gives you baby steps and ramps you up until you. So if you do the missions in order, then you learn all you need to know. Kind of and by the time you finish that, you say, oh, let me into the heavy 300-page. Uh, serious book and don't be intimidated by that that actually it's has heavy. it is heavy but uh, a lot of it is uh, missions by uh, famous people like uh, James uh, Richard Garfield James Ernest oh, and wow. some other yeah. guys who were kind enough to donate their and joy some beautiful artwork, some beautiful artwork. Uh, there's all the special abilities everything we learned in the first 12 years of battle stations yeah. got distilled and the, the special abilities that didn't quite work got mixed together or dumped and so it was really it was a chance for me to learn about being a game designer. Oh, okay, yeah. And yeah, there's tons of good stuff. So, so the first edition was your mission one, and this yes. is mission two. <laughs> yes, is yes. Awesome, awesome. There's a little score yeah. sheet here. So Trevor, it's Jack you have your character sample sheet. characters. So the, the way you start the game is you just get a character that's got all the information and the stats for the character. Mm -hmm. And then after a mission, you're going to rank up and then put it on, transfer it over to his character sheet. So you get new special abilities with the later, uh, with as you rank up. So your character is going to get better and better. So Jim James Jim is yes. going to get even better. Yes. He's, Jim James he's, Jim. He's going to decide whether he wants another special ability or and which, uh, uh, how he wants to increase his skills. Because okay. right now he's got a zero in engineering. Well, he, he might be. He doesn't want to. 
he but might be almost engineered. Yes, he might be stuck in the helm sometime with a broken helm, yeah. and he needs to repair that. So he's going to say, "Hey, I'll buy myself a toolkit and uh, learn how to." Learn how to use it. Learn yes. how to figure it out. Um, so how many people can play this game? Uh, it's one to eight, but I mean, I've played it with 12. It's it's like a role-playing game in that you can have as many players as you're comfortable Don't with around with the table. Having fun with. Yeah. And, yeah. Right now over here at, at Origins, we have, I think, 12 guys around the table. The battle station is huge. Yep. And it's awesome, but it's also like a big experience. It's a big production. A yes. big deal. Yeah. So how long does it take to play, typically? I'm sure some of the scenarios and missions might The The first few bit. missions are less than an hour each. Each just to kind of get you into it okay. and then once you have later missions with more going on because the missions can be anything from blowing up an enemy starship to trying to find the answer to a secret code or navigating out of a navigation hazard there's mm -hmm. really that's so it's not always like murder a thing yes it's not <laughs> and, and one of the things I love to do when I'm designing missions is make it so that if you're an idiot with a hammer and you just want to bash things you can do it but it's hard mm -hmm. But if you're a smart guy with a hammer, you can find the right spot. Use your wits. Yes, and if you're a super smart guy, you can find the keyhole and not even have to use the hammer at all. <laughs> awesome. So, again, when will they be able to get this? This will be available in August. This will be available August 2017, and that is Battle Stations. Battle Stations. The second edition. New and second improved. edition. I am so stoked. <laughs> I've been waiting for this forever. <laughs> Thanks, Jeff. And congratulations. Thank you.